the public hearing for the 2019-20 general fund budget. Um, at this time, I would turn the, uh, or I would say that on behalf of the Board of Trustees, um, we want to welcome you to this budget hearing. The Board plans to conduct and to maintain open communications with the citizens, and by doing this, we hope to provide fiscally responsible programs and make services that meet the needs of our students and the community proud. Notification of the public hearing on the budget was published in the state newspaper on May 30th of 2019. And at this time, our Chief Financial Officer, Ms. Marty Rawls, will give a brief budget overview for the fiscal year 2019-2020. Following the overview, we will open the floor for public participation. Mr. Chairman, members of the <clears throat> Board of Trustees, Dr. James, um, you have before you an updated copy of the budget. Um, we had some changes only on the page, which is the budget by function. We were still allocating the school budgets whenever your books were published. So you have an updated copy of your place. Um, the summary shows that we have a balanced budget of $84,309,589. That is as presented in the first reading. This is a, a, a spreadsheet and a chart of our all of our revenues that we are projecting what we had for, for school year 1819 and the proposed general fund budget for 2019-20, which shows a 3.9% increase in revenue over last year. This revenue includes a 4.26% millage increase which will set or provide our operating millage at 150.72. The next sheets are the budget by function. It shows all of our instruction by function and our support services. This is comparing the 1819 budget to the proposed 2019-20 budget. Again, showing the 3.9% increase for a total for 1920 of 84,309,589. Next chart shows the areas of increase of $604,000, $604,369 increase in supplies and services for the program side, and $2,559,996 in salary and fringe benefits. This includes the 4% uh, teacher salary increase, the step increases, and the equal increases for all District 2 employees. Now, in saying that, the, um, the General Assembly did fully fund the 4% increase at the state minimum salary scale. Ours is a little bit higher. We pay our teachers a little bit more, and we supplement that with local funding. So it's a $3,164,365 increase overall. And your last sheet shows the proposed usage of the millage increase. The 4.26 mills equates to $756,703. Our initiatives are to add four FTEs for middle school, high school curriculum specialists. Salary and benefits of 279211 we are looking to add $10,000 per school for elementary and middle school, so that would be 10 schools to improve their libraries. The current age of our libraries is, I can't remember the number, can it, Devin? Um, I think we're in like the late 90s. So okay, so I don't have it in front of me, I apologize. It, I, I thought we were right around 2000, so I don't know what to say. And so we're, it, our libraries are outdated, so we felt the need to provide funding for that. Um, three additional FTEs for mental health care professionals, salary and fringe of $199,445. We uh, found a need to make the step increases equivalent for teachers after 23 years of experience. It's pretty steady um, between about 1.75% and 2% up until year 23, and it greatly drops to less than 8%. So we are going to provide equal um, ratio percentage increases for step increases on our teacher salary scale. 
and we are going to provide equipment for an adaptive PE program to serve our special needs students around the district. It will be a district-wide initiative, and those are the, um, that is the planned usage of the millage increase should that pass the season. Okay. Um, at this time, uh, we will open the floor for public participation, and it will remain open for the mandatory 25 minutes uh, to allow anyone that would like to speak to the 2019-20 general fund budget. Can I ask one question, Mr. Um, the um, uh, the 4.2% um, increase. Have you, have you calculated that like uh, as what it would mean to a, a, a hundred thousand dollar house um, number? I mean, what would, what would it calculate to? For the village increase, it would only affect investment property or um, business property. It is not going to affect the primary residence. And that owner occupied. Owner occupied. It will not affect owner occupied property only. Um, like investment property, rental property, and that would be $26 for a $100,000 value. But it, it's important to you that that's only occupied 6% of the property. Right, so yeah, 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 which is when it's all second property. Yes. Thank you. Go to my house, make sure I do sit here. Where are you? Are you? We lost power. We lose power in at our in my neighborhood all the time. It's just like it's going to be. Yeah. 
course. Yeah. Yeah. Trees everywhere, so you don't take any. Yeah. 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 Tell them what the first one called, I'll call it trees down. How the rest of them is. Nice. Jeez. It's a vibrant hurricane. It's good. It's good. Trees and growing, man. I'm going to say the building. That's right. We're talking about that. Because we were all talking. We were like, where do we even go? And we were like, right, we'll go to the vault. There's big old windows in there. We'll go to the vault. <laughs> We all came along. She was there with the husband. Yeah. We had a microphone. She told me. Where are the keys? And Amazon. Oh, wow. Give me the microphone. She knew it was going to be too long. I'm going to go right out to the house. I'm going to go right out to the house. I'm going to go right out
That's exactly right. I can't do any of those things while the kids are home. That's amazing. But you can make it. I'm sure the federal government took care of that. We're going to get that down. We look for it here. I was out of school. My house was on the table. I lived downtown in Columbia. I do my tours in the bar. I just sent it to the island where I saw areas that were in trouble. Ended up linking up with the South Carolina Air National Guard there. The jazz come to help out from the air base and we were out stuff like sea and water, mines, walls, stuff in the city. Like me and the and I were carrying a, a baby grand to the house. It was so far wrong, it snapped in half as we were carrying it. I just couldn't even imagine. There's, you know, clothes, but the clothes that were on them was so crazy. Oh, wow. The initial phone call at 6.30 in the morning to make that home. They told me that I was going to go to church. They called the waiting room. He was kayaking on his back car, and like, we were just all sitting there, like, he just don't come any further. And it didn't have, uh, yeah. That was what, that plan was just take him to the kayak, and we do kayak, and kayak, and back up, and just pop a kayak, paddle in, turn around the boat, and walk it out. When he got there, yeah. There was no paddling in, it was moving so fast. Oh, yeah. You could have moved on the motorcycle. My, buddy was, my buddies with fishing boats, like flat bottom fishing boats, they were they were everywhere. Yeah. Was that her or was that the water? <laughs> Travelers in church come along and bring the tow truck and you know, don't think was no, so I don't think they fully covered it before. No. Yeah. She had a phone on it and she had a shirt, so we lost all that. And when we come back, this guy came along with his car and you know, we just going to get a kid in for 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 a kid in
downtown Toronto. Yeah. Yeah. It's called yeah. downtown. Yeah. And, yeah. 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 and my brother-in-law, my dog, my dog, yeah. that's my yeah. dog, yeah. Zuri, yeah. yeah. she's like, in town, so he don't want to the house. So that's why she was there. I don't think it was my dog's on water right now. This ain't going to go well. And we, my wife and I, we're going to Jacksonville, Florida, to Columbia, and that's not what she knew that was on my mind. And Zoe was fine. We got her and got out of there. Right as water was coming. I know you would if you could. Yeah, that was wild. Because my friend texted me. It's like, hey man, you're like, hey, you're in Jacksonville. I don't know anything about it. I was like, what are you doing? I'm, I'm, first of all, I'm in Jacksonville. Why are you in Jacksonville? He was like, hey man, you're in Jacksonville. I was like, to what channel? Any channel. I was like, I was driving the road with the McDonald's, you know, in the water. And I was like, what is happening? Yeah. Yeah.